So my number one piece of advice is always start somewhere. There is always some piece of something you can do, no matter how small, that can make a change. Even if it's, hey, I'm going to go back to this form and I'm going to add labels to all the form fields. And congratulations, you've solved one of, I think, like the top 10 bugs that appear on websites to date. Then it's about building that partner. You can always be sort of the lone accessibility advocate, but you really need to build that partnership. And so it takes a little bit of politicking in a way. So working with your team, getting them excited about accessibility. And in whatever way that means for your organization, for some folks, as much as I hate to say it, accessibility has a benefit to SEO. And for some folks, <laughs> it's like the SEO slaps. All right, if that's the thing that's going to get this funded, let's go for it. For some folks, it's seeing a, a user having struggles and seeing how we can make that better. For some folks, literally just the empathy aspect of like, hey, by the way, there's a whole set of people in the world who want to be able to use these sites and we're preventing them from doing so for literally no good reason. And you find that selling point and you start to get folks on board and start to have accessibility conversations to see what can we do? What can we fund? And every company is in a different spot. If you're in a really early stage startup, it's going to be really hard to get the buy-in for like, hey, we actually need to redo our entire platform. Is that cool with y'all? That's, that's not going to fly. Yeah. But if you can say, hey, there are these five things that we can do that will take two days that will greatly enhance the accessibility of certain pieces. I think one of the most common issues actually is color contrast which is also one of the easiest yeah. issues to fix, but can be really problematic. It can create a lot of problems for folks with low vision, different vets, I mean, variations of color I'll be blindness. frank here and say our website currently, we realized we had an issue that we need to address mm -hmm. around color contrast. So like, yeah. it, it's absolutely a problem that's very pervasive, even for like a media podcast like us. So yeah, and those are the ones from the, you know, dev estimate level of effort. Yeah. Give me five minutes, some CSS, I got you covered.